I feel like it's ready for my party. Janus Devotion, take seven. Good morning, BRCC family. I'm Janice Britson, the Hospitality Ministry Coordinator. So today, instead of doing a devotion, I'm gonna actually do a demonstration for you. Um, I thought two weeks ago about doing this and um, just kind of put it off and hadn't taped it. And after hearing Pastor Andy's sermon on Sunday where he talked about our time and encouraged us to spend time in God's word and to spend time in conversation with friends who are Christians. And then on Monday, Pastor Chris, when he did his devotion, he referenced James 4.15 in talking about making plans and that God should be in the forefront of all of the plans that we make. It really encouraged me to do this demonstration for you and to share something that has had an impact on me. So this actually sits in my living room as a visual reminder. I was inspired to put this out after I was shown this demonstration about eight years ago. So it's just three large balls that fill the container. Well, it represents our time and how we spend our time and how we start our day. If we get up in the morning and we start our day thinking about all the chores that we have to do and getting the laundry started, starting on lunches and dinner prep, getting ready for work, maybe we have to get our kids to an activity, though a lot of people aren't going places right now, but getting to places, getting to the grocery, getting chores done, watching TV, spending time on the internet and on social media. And we've done all of those things and we come to the end of the day and we realize we haven't spent any time in God's word or reading our Bible. And we find that it doesn't fit, it, it falls off when, when we do that and we don't put God first. But if we, change that around. This is going to be loud and it's going to be a little awkward here for just a minute. If we start, um, we think about our day and we give God our firsts and we give him the best of what we have instead of giving him what's left over we'll see that we have a different outcome for our day. So let me get this all back in here. You know, this is all the stuff of life. And it's messy. It wants to kind of go all over the place. But we're going to try and keep it contained. Um, so... If we change it around and when we get up if we begin our day in prayer and spending time in God's word and having quiet time with God and then we move to doing the laundry and doing our food prep and going to the grocery going to work going to different activities oh mowing the grass watching TV, checking our emails, being on social media, however else you might feel your time, sitting around being lazy, uh, playing video games, whatever you find yourself doing, you find that all of that fits when you do your time with God first, and you give him the first of every day. He will make what he wants to fill your day. He'll make all that fit. And let me show you that he will bless your time. He will stretch your time. He'll even give you time to have a cup of coffee with some friends. 
I hope that this demonstration will have a positive impact on you, that it will help you to remember to give God the first of your time to spend every day in God's word and in prayer and just growing closer in your relationship with him because he truly will bless you. He'll bless your family. He'll bless your time when you choose to do that. Um, have a great day. And cut. Do you think that one worked? <laughs>